David versus Goliath and the forgotten ability to fight against giants, quote-unquote, the ability of the small man is that he does not underestimate his opponent. Giants, they've always been and always will be, as in mythology, so in our lives. They hold a special place in the formation of our reality. Other times they may take the form of bullying, others a bad boss or a bad spouse, others a country that decides to mess with another weaker one, but the magnitude of the difficulties expressed by the giants is the starting point to develop a unique skill. When humans come up against giants, the odds often get crazy. Human perception goes through complex pathways and these in turn form labels for what is strength, power or advantage. But the problem is that many times the giants are not what we really believe. The very ability that appears to give them strength is the same that reveals a great weakness. And as often densely, the greatest advantage that can turn in a flash into a disastrous disadvantage. History is full of outsiders, from people whose fate put them on the bench, facing the formalin of inactivity, but often fate is not as final as it seems. In life, you don't always come across situations capable of pushing you to go high. There are also those that you feel like a pressure on the neck that constantly pushes you down. Difficulties appear out of nowhere, and we hanging on wood teeter between wear and tear. But the lessons of history, one after the other, teach us that the strong is not always as strong as it seems, and that the weak is not as weak as we thought from the beginning. Because the story behind Goliath reveals a revealing truth. Goliath did not have the slightest hope against little David. Looking smugly at the Israelites, Goliath challenged them to bring their best soldier before him to fight with him, the giant Goliath. Even so, Goliath's superior fighting ability was obvious to the eyes of ordinary people. When David appeared, refusing to hold a sword or a shield, he chose a sling, and the first thing he did was pick up five stones from the ground. Five, meaning Jesus Christ, Son, God, Savior. Jesus Christ, Son, God, Savior. Ichthys, okay? Those are the five words. That's why he picked up five stones. Now, Goliath and Ray, we let's remember they knew that his name would be Emmanuel, God is with us. Now, Goliath, enraged by his diminutive adversary, uh, his, uh, you know, the small, uh, he was a teenager. Now, uh, you take me for a dog, he says, and come at me with sticks. Logical, if you imagine that Goliath, apart from his incredible physical strength, also had incredible fighting skills and weapons. He carried three different melee weapons, and his armor left very little skin exposed. What would happen later would go down in history as a living legend. David hurling a stone at Goliath's head would have dropped him dead in minutes. That's because, of course, David prayed. And God, of course, uh, guided the stone to hit right above his nose between his eyes. That's a very, very delicate area to be hit. Of course, this version of the story has one small, pro small problem. Uh, it says it's wrong. The sky darkened, it says, on April 25th, 1941. Hitler himself would order the launch of Operation Mercury. The time was 8 in the morning of May 20th, 1941, when a wave of German paratroopers would descend on Malimé in the uh, area of Hanya in Crete. The fronts would become four, and at 14 hours in the afternoon, uh, 1600 hours in the afternoon, four o'clock in the afternoon, a second wave of paratroopers would drop on Rethymna and an hour later on Iraklion. So German paratroopers were dropping onto the island of Crete. The curtain on the Battle of Crete would fall with the defeat of the Allies on June 1st, but the Germans would not celebrate this particular victory. The Allies lost 3,500, while it's estimated that the Germans lost 16,000. Something had gone completely wrong here. Patterns are confirmed. King Saul was devastated, observing David on the one hand and Goliath on the other. The only future he saw was the certain death of a small man, David that is, and he, like the others, had made the mistake of trusting his eyes. 
power does not appear in one form. The ability to break, break the rules of engagement, use the advantage of surprise, and not accept defeat as a given are capable of skyrocketing the odds of victory. When you go up against a favorite and uh, agree to, fly, uh, to fight in the, uh, by the rules, uh, it imposes on you, the result is certain, and you will lose. In 1809, the Peruvians faced Spain head-on and lost, and lost. In 1816, the Georgians faced Russians and lost. But when the Vietnamese decided to fight against America using their ability in stealth warfare, things would change. We spend a lot of time thinking that prestige and resource make us better, but we don't make time to think about how these advantages often reduce our options. And when you compare yourself to the opponent, then you focus on what you lack. The issue is the way of thinking, and that changes everything. When you turn your attention to the search for a solution, then everything works differently. Evaluate situations with the idea uh, that the solution exists and all that remains is simply to find it. The skill develops when you are in an environment that introduces problems that need solutions. The facts are overturned. Goliath sought a hand-to-hand -hand combat, and when you are prepared for a certain situation and the conditions change, then serious problems arise. Eitan Hirsch, an expert in ballistics for the Israel Defense Forces, reports that according to his calculations, a standard size one meter when fired by someone who knows how to use it, turns into a deadly weapon. Uh, if you throw a stone with a sling and you are 35 meters from the target, the stone will acquire a speed of 34 meters a second. So that was that means in one second, it get, <laughs> I didn't even know that. So if you're 35 meters from the target, which is about 100 feet, the stone will acquire a speed of 100 feet a second. So that means it got to from David to Goliath in one second. In fact, it took David about a second to kill Goliath. That's amazing. In fact, Goliath didn't have the ability to see the stone coming at him, so he didn't even have a chance to defend against it. Of course, he could have put up his shield to protect himself. He had no time to do that. Now, a misjudgment can be costly, and an overinflated balloon can pop much more easily. The German Admiral Wilhelm von Canaris was also a Goliath, and making a, target, a tragic miscalculation, the Germans assumed that civilians in Crete would not take part in any attack, but human ability knows no limits. The involvement of thousands of civilians in the operations against the paratroopers was a factor that the German planners of the operation had not calculated in to their uh, project. Now, they believed that the people of Crete known for their anti-monarchical sentiments, would welcome the Germans as liberators. What they didn't expect was that the civilians would attack with whatever weapons they had available. You know, their shovels and their pitchforks. Uh, the superhero in you? The term post-traumatic stress is familiar to us all. But in 1995, University of North Carolina psychologists Richard Tedeschi and Lawrence Calhoun introduced a new term, PTG. The term PTG means post-traumatic growth. Post-traumatic growth. And apparently it's not that rare. It's the process through which a traumatic event can make us wiser and stronger. When the going gets really tough, human creativity fires up. The tough get going. And that results in us coming back stronger and more prepared, says psychologist Anne Berardi, who directs the Trauma Response Institute at George Fox University. The moment you face your worst fear and realize you're still standing, that's when the defeat of Goliath has begun. The secret that historical events hide is that every time a Goliath appears, human ability and endurance increase exponentially. In the end, there is a chance that the path you avoid taking is the one you most need to walk. That is amazing. I didn't even know it took one second for the stone to hit, to hit Goliath. And that's amazing. So this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. 
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.